What's up guys? Our Joe's Gaming here. Thanks for your thanks for your subscribing and your like and your sharing of my previous video that I made about uh, why I went off for a really long time. So I've been doing these vid short videos uh, every day from around five or six, uh, talking about uh, tech, uh, gaming related. Uh, my PC, gaming, anything related that I can talk about in my channel. So today I'm going to talk about my PC that I am currently using and where and where I get the parts and where I got the configuration and everything, actually everything everything that I underwent getting these parts. So I'm going to start because I'm going to start first of all with the name. I named my PC Partition 2.0. Reasons being my own. I kind of like the name. I also had some history behind it. but. Yeah, I like that name. So my name is Pat uh, the, the, my my PC's name is Patricia 2.0, and uh, my previous build was Nova, the the tribute to, to, to the game tribute of Call of Duty Black Ops Black Ops One. I know some people know, know about it when they had when you hear the word you hear the word name Nova. So apparently my Patricia 2.0. Uh, let's start from the casing. The first thing I bought was the casing. The casing was the N X N NZXT S340 Elite. Uh, my reason being choosing a PC, first of all, I'm a big as I, I'm a big fan of NZXT as I said earlier before. I'm a fanboy of their products. I am, I'm not sure about their Z370 motherboard, they look so ugly, but their cases and their coolers are much better looking actually. So yeah, I started, I started off with that. Uh, the the theme case is a black and red casing with a tap and full glass panel window, full. And when I say it's full, it's full, not that cut off all these fancy fancy ideas of you know. It is fully fun, a fully panel window which is very heavy and can. Uh, since I've used it, I've never seen a scratch on it, and it's very hard to get a scratch on it. Uh, apart from that, it has a uh, you can set uh, in terms of cooling solutions. You can set to 40, a 240 millimeter radiator on the front of the chassis. Uh, if you don't want that, there's a back and up panel where you can f you can fit a 120 millimeter uh, fan or a cooling or a radiator. With other case, yeah, but it can fully support even uh, a whole custom of a any liquid cooling custom uh, solution can easily fit in there uh, what else uh, uh, that it has nice cable management uh, right there there's a nice cable nice cable management underneath the uh, underneath and uh, underneath and uh, oversight of the chassis so yeah uh, and another thing is there's a metal shroud which covers the P the PSU we cannot see it but on top of the uh, on the top of the power shroud the power shroud yeah that there's a mounting points of the ssd where you can easily mount your either the 2.5 inch hdd or the, the ssd you can mount it over there and also it comes with a magnetic pack uh, if you guys knows about if you know about the s340 lit comes with a magnetic pack where you can just plug it anywhere i think i can show you somewhere So, so yeah, it comes in a magnetic pack. So uh, you just reattach it, and voila, you can put, you can hang your VR headset here, or you can hang your headphones. Simply just just give it over this way. Yeah. Yeah, it's for, for nice cable management for a VR headset so that you can just hang it at the side. Looks nice, looks decent, and you can actually uh, actually put away those cables that you don't see around. Also, the case comes with a pass-through HDMI for the VR headset in front of the chassis. So instead of going back to back to the GPU, you can just use the pass-through in front of the chassis, and voila. You are good to go for VR gaming. Uh, also, it has a nice black matte color finish on all side of the uh, of the chassis, which can f actually feel it's kind of nice and smooth, not edgy or 
or those those uh, plastic film no that's like a finish metallic uh, black on all over all around the casing so yeah and also it has some 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 supporters down for uh, supporting the, the entire rig if you can get what I mean uh, which is a, a bit sturdy and nice uh, the, the the front part of the chest chassis you can easily de detach it and yeah and it's a dust filter on front of the of the chassis where you can prevent dust from entering your your system also beneath the power supply there's also a dust filter to prevent dust from being intake in the power supply uh, apart from that uh, let me see there's also the there's also on the behind of the casing there's also a place where you can put your uh, hard drives where you can mount them but you cannot see them but it's underneath on the other side of the casing so yeah good for that so the, the casing overall came uh, on on Amazon it is around um, is it sixty dollars or sixty give or take I'm not sure but I'll keep the link down in the description. Sixty dollars, but when you consider about the shipping tax and duty, also the girl sold it to me, so it came around uh, to one thousand. Yeah, it's steep, but if you come think about it, if you, if you want to buy it uh, locally from uh, people at X Gamers or at Tech Buy, you could have gotten the, case, the same same case for around twenty five thousand. So twenty five thousand. So it was kind of big deal for me when I bought it from Mr. Andrew. I'll put his link down below to go to his Facebook site. Uh, from Shuffle PC sold me for around 21,000. It was a good deal and it was kind of decent to to have one sexy looking casing. Even though guys told me like I spent a lot on it, but I really like it and I thought it's really worth it buying it. Uh, moving along, uh, I, with, with, uh, I bought uh, an external an external hard drive for my. I I wanted okay. I wanted to buy an external hard drive in order to boot, to back up all my data from my previous build so I didn't want, I didn't want to sell off my previous build with, with my data going just just being taken away so I had to buy an external and, and that was like a transfer 1 TB came around 8500 yeah so I transfer all my data and that's why you're, 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 you're able to see that I'm, I'm having a green green uh, color thing on top of my chassis that's my hard drive that I'm using to copy and move heavy heavy stuff around. Uh, moving along, I I went and bought. Uh, from there on, I started thinking of buying uh, this small stuff that I can actually get, and I even asked my parents if can give me that money. So the the other deal I went for, I went and bought a uh, power supply that is the Vega B five hundred B very nice uh, power supply very clean uh, no 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 hanging okay it's not it's not, for, not modular or not semi modular but i really liked it because it's cheap it came around 7500 and it is clean and it is certified bronze in a label so it's good uh what else i um then i went for the cooler okay for the cooler it came to a standstill because I wanted something that could, in, in case I, if I could, I could have gone for the Ryzen or the M4 Plus socket, I could, uh, I wanted a cooler which could fit bo bo both of the Intel and also the M4 new socket. So, I ended up buying the uh, Corsair Hydro Series H60. Uh, it's a decent, it's a, it's a decent cooler. I took the reviews. Uh, it's like now in a budget. It's a budget uh, cooler that you can actually buy. And if uh, the first time AI you want to you want to move you want to move from heat sinks to AI AI, I could pre really prefer to start, start trying to use that. However, I wanted to buy the H100i, the H yeah the H100i version two. Uh, hydro series of, from Cors from Corsair, but uh, at that current moment last year they hadn't released the M4 brackets for that kit, and you had to like import it separately when you bought the the package. So it's such it such a bother, and why not just buy this the first time and see how it goes? Then I will think of going a bit higher. 
uh, moving along, I, from there, so I had a little, I had like a really small budget. So I, the, the remaining money I had, I decided to like, instead of going to West, I, said, I decided to buy a keyboard. My character keyboard, I'm, I'm using the Red Kumara, the Dragon, uh, KFFF, K, KFFF2. A uh, very nice keyboard, uh, around for around 6,000 give or take, I can't remember. Uh, really nice keyboard, uh, I like the aesthetic and I wanted something to match with my color theme which is black and red. So yeah, so I like the I like the keyboard itself and also the color scheme and also the response to it on how, how I can type and how it's reacted. Really, it really made, it made really a lot of huge bulk for me to buy this keyboard. Moving along, uh, from there, I, so I, I paused for a really, really, really long time before I decided to buy something else. So I decided to buy a um, motherboard. So for the motherboard, uh, I went for the ASUS Tough Mark II, which is a Z7, Z270 series board. Uh, which is very nice since you can since you can use it both on the 6th gen and the 7th gen so socket or chip so yeah guests guess would have thought like why why if I went to the Intel way why did I not go for the, for the Z370 board but I was like no cause uh, I know in Kenya things are so pricey so I'm like uh, I might buy this board at around $200, dollars that's like 20k or 21k but given the chip, like a beefy chip, like a Koi 5 or a Koi 7, it will be much much pricier and you cannot even bargain at it. So the only thing I, I wanted to go for is a Kabilek, that was like a Koi 5. At first there wasn't a K-series because it would be, be stupid to buy a to buy a motherboard which are to which are to 70 series that is you can overclock it and buy an an k cpu that wouldn't make sense so uh, but at that moment i got the deal for the 7400 5 but i didn't have the money at the moment so the only thing i could have could have bought at that moment was the motherboard of which of which was the z270 asus tough mark 2 a nice board uh nice accessories uh, uh, 64, a 64 maximum of RAM, GB, ADDR4 channel, uh, can support even uh, 266 MHz, even maybe 3000, I'm not sure, but I'll check on it. Uh, chip, yeah, supports both uh, 6 and 7 gen, supports even of Intel of 10, and also M.2 and VME supports the the board supports it even uh, it supports a SLI also crossfire and also within the package you get a uh, a coupon for cable mod if you think that your cables from the power supply doesn't match up with the, your system you can have a coupon that gives you an offer to buy any cable extensions to match up with that uh, to match up with their PC look uh, also from that, also it comes with a, with a SLI bridge for your NVIDIA card, in case you have, it comes with an SLI bridge, okay, it comes with a warranty, it uh, comes with some few SATA, SATA, SATA connections, cable also, uh, I, think that, I think that's it about the motherboard, uh, I just like the look about it, but I, like, I really love the look about it, and I, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of the SUS motherboard because it is a very my, my, pre my previous build, I built I built on Asus motherboard for Gen. Yeah. So from there, now we are, we are coming to this current year, 2020 January. I I was able to get the Co Co i5 6600K, uh, of which I was kind of disappointed at first because it was so so way back. But I didn't have a choice because the one I wanted, the, the 7 gen, wasn't available. And, and I think somehow that, that's, a, that's a blessing in disguise because now I can overclock my CPU and perform similar to a cabin deck. I know it's, it's a, a bit far, but far fetched, but at least I can feel that I'm, I'm getting the same power. And it has a 4 core. Uh, it's overclockable even to 4.8, but I don't risk it on this cooler. And so this my and I'm, I'm a first timer, so I don't overclock that much. So I have max I've it to 4.4 gigahertz. Also, I bought the RAM. Even RAM nowadays to get is very expensive. 
because now the CPU costed me around uh, 20 G's for the 600k I bought it from Arigi and he put his link down in his Facebook page you can talk to him very nice guy also uh, and also I met with Mr. Andrew again who sold me the HGB Crucial Ballistic uh, DDR4 RAM which he sold me for around uh, 9500 good deal because getting on this RAM for DDR4 is pretty 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 hard and, and pretty expensive if you want to import it now so yeah uh, Overall, I could, I could say it was kind of expensive going this way, but to what I want, and currently I cannot do that, I wanted to do video editing, and also I can stream, and also I can uh, game at 1080p. So, yeah, this is the specs I was this is the specs I was expecting to have, and, I, and it, so, so far I see it, it working for me because I got no problem problem with it because it boots gives me updates uh, some some application runs better I can play some few titles uh, those tambo titles like Call of Duty 1 NFS uh, Hot Pursuit those small, small light games which can just run on Intel HD and which in so far is kind of awesome uh, okay overall I could I, I can say that I bought this stuff from a uh, Freelancers like Mr. Andrew and and Arigi and also from Stabrain at X Gamers. So if you want the quick way of getting everything in Kenya, you can go to X Gamers and buy everything. But I can say that they can be a bit a bit a bit much pricey. But if you, you don't like waiting and you want it on the go, I can suggest you can go, you can go to Mr. Ibrahim. He has everything and he's a very nice guy. You can, if you can talk to him, he can give you a deal. Of, of course, I've been buying most of my things from him, so I always tend to give me a, a bit of some passage from his products. Also, I've been working with Mr. Andrew. Mr. Andrew is a, is a, is a very nice guy also. Uh, you, you can also talk, uh, talk to him. And Put his link also ex gamers and put his link and also mr arigi nice guy also i put his link and you can contact him about if you want to to import stuff so overall my bill uh, right now currently i'm just use i'm just using it for browsing and uh, movies some uh, media content uh but uh, a small gaming, uh, some a bit of tweak, tweaking here and there to see how much I can push it. Uh, and I can say overall, I really love it. No noise, easy, easy to use, uh, no crashing whatsoever. Uh, I guess that's, it. that's all about the partition 2.0. And I'm also using, okay, instead of using a monitor or a display monitor, I'm using my TV, my footage TV from home, of which I carried all the way to Nairobi. Uh, I know guys will tell me that's kind of absurd, like how how do you use all that stretching resolution near your face? I'm like, I have, really, I have like Zoya Kutumia, so uh, yeah, I like it, so I'll continue using it. Until the day comes, maybe I can afford a 4K monitor. I'll just get rid of it. Maybe in my, in my living room or uh, it'll be just like a TV for guys to come and watch movies and all. And I'll have a special monitor for my PC. But at the moment, this is my display. It's a Samsung 48 inch. I've been using it since I, I made since I built my first uh, my previous build, the the, the RX 470 Nova. Yeah, uh, it's nice. The tearing eco, but I don't mind. Uh, yeah, uh, the cooling, the cooling is nice. I like the AIO from Corsair, pretty nice, pretty nice, and and that's it. So that's about my uh, my Patricia 2.0 PC build. I'll put my P I'll put my PC part link on my on my video description below. Also go and check it out. Give me comment, review. Uh, also follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. If you have got anything to comment, to comment or to, to, or to questions or actually anything, just comment on my on my comment section below. I'll get back to you and 
that's it so have a good have a good one guys and i'll be continuing making vlogs every day if not every day maybe thrice a week twice depends from because right now i'm from work i'm really exhausted I haven't even eaten and so wow anyways that's for another topic for another day and yes keep keep it locked keep it safe bye